I'm here with Elizabeth Roberts today um, and she's just going to say a few words about her experience with using the Perfect Point system. She's had a fantastic career so Elizabeth would you like to tell us just a little bit about your history? Sure. I'm a former member of the Australian Ballet and I danced as Elizabeth McMahon yep. and I've taken a break from dancing but returned and now working through Chiquetti Ballet Australia to de get my uh, teacher's qualifications yep. and so now I'm confronted with a whole lot of um, dance issues that I learnt perhaps like 25-30 yep. years ago that now I'm relearning yep. in a very different and probably more um, detailed way. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. And you've had the Perfect Point system for a little while, you've been having a look through the tests and things like that. Um, what do you think that this gives teachers all over the world um, as an adjunct to what they've been taught in their training? Well, it gives them validation of um, the techniques that they've perhaps learned and it also gives them the opportunity to develop on what they've learned yeah. um, and use the latest physiotherapy mm -hmm. um, information because that's fantastic the way that's informing how we teach exactly. young people. It's, it's really nice to start getting this play between the two because so often I think ballet has been, um, it's been a, an art form and it is a wonderful art form but now that art form is getting pushed to the extremes um, and the science has to come in to make sure that those dancers are safe. Yes and it's promoting discussion between teachers as well and just exactly. helping them not feel so alone with what they're teaching. It's a big responsibility. It is. You're yeah. responsible to parents and students for yeah. you know their long-term um, physical yeah. safety. Yeah. yeah and that's why I wanted to bring in the forum um, that comes with the teacher system is a place that you can ask questions and things like that and we can get all of the teachers all around the world putting in their feedback because I'm not a dance teacher I just give the information that's applicable to dance from my experience um, myself and as a physio but there are a lot of tricks and things as dance teachers that we can share to try and help make this a much safer thing for the girls involved. Yeah. Definitely and much more enjoyable exactly. for them. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Um, that's one of the things we were talking about with the combination with the Perfect Point book and the system of putting the responsibility on the children yes. and you've seen the participation in workshops and things you notice the kids getting really excited about it. They do and they really like to see the diagrams yep. and have those explained. Um, sometimes when we ask them to visualise things perhaps they're not able to quite accurately pinpoint the things yeah, that we're talking exactly. about so the pictures really help them yeah. have something in mind that they're aiming for physically. Yeah, wonderful yeah. and you had fantastic point training yourself um, going through the Aussie Ballet and things. What are the, the key points in training for point work that you feel were covered in your training but are also in the system? Right. I was very lucky when I was younger I had Lucette Aldous training me on point um, as a teenager and um, the main thing that she focused on then was, um, you know, core stability in the yeah, pelvis. Which is something that we really look at. Yeah. yeah. And um, so it's great to see that that's now articulated a lot better and that I in fact learnt that yeah, all those years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. Now as you've been working through um, some of the exercises and things like that, what are the differences that you've noticed in your feet um, from working through all of the stuff? I think my feet are getting more intelligent. You know, the, the use <laughs> of the, the toes, the piano yeah. playing with the toes yeah. and the doming. Yeah. And they, uh, I feel like I can warm up better Which, and more accurately. And there yeah. seems to be like more blood flow to that area or something. Sometimes it can feel a bit brittle yeah. if you're not warmed up properly. Yeah. And especially when they've kind of gone through an intense period and then had a break off. Getting back into the toe shoes is a little bit interesting. Definitely. Yeah. Well, even professional dancers will have a break for a few months, sometimes exactly. due to injury. Yeah. And to have those exercises then to be able to strengthen before you get back into and the shoes. And get their confidence yeah. before going back into yeah. the shoes. The other thing that we were talking about is with the poster that comes with it, that you've noticed that it's a, a nice visual guide. How do you think that that works in for, say, your local dance teacher who's got a lot of students all at once? Um, how do you feel that that contributes? Well it helps uh, if you've got a class of children to have something that they can focus on while you discuss an issue with them and they can come with you on on that issue yeah. by having something that they can actually look at and you can use as a reference point. Wonderful. Yeah. So overall as a complete system what do you, um, what would be your recommendation to teachers all over the world who, um, Elizabeth's done quite a few sessions with me so we get to do a lot of playing back and forwards but for those who don't have access to getting it first hand from somebody like me. Um, do you think that it's communicated in a way that's easy for other teachers to learn? Oh, definitely. And you can actually try it out on yourself yeah. as well. And it's try the most it out. important piece. Yeah. <laughs> try it out on other teachers yeah. and yeah. just learn as much as you can about the process yeah. before you start um, working on students. children. Yeah. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure.